Hey there everyone, this is Darkside2k7, aka Star Sky Six. I haven't having a fantastic Saturday as I mean, oh sorry. Tuesday. And I think this neighborhood has been too cool for me. <laughs> well, as you may know, yours truly has been keeping up with the news. So remember when I talked when I made a video about the whole George Floyd thing and when I and I did say that this ain't gonna be over, not by a fucking long side. There's many W bros saying. Well, turns out I was right. I know people are getting tired of me when I be right on on start on these things, but what can you do, right? What can you do? I just I just see I just see what it is and just call it like it is. And like I said, this I knew this wasn't gonna end like this. So uh so like I said, there's gonna be well, there's gonna be a retrial, retrial, and no surprise, it is big. I'm gonna read this here right now after I killed uh, right after. I mean, it's from the Guardian. Derek Chavez, ex, the ex-officer who was convicted in the George Floyd's murder, asked for a new trial. Eric, attorney Eric Nelson alleges prosecutorial and jury misconduct and errors of the law at the trial and said that the verdict was contrary to law. Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer convicted of murdering George Floyd, has asked judge for a new trial according to a court document that was filed Tuesday. Chauvin's attorney... Eric Nelson has said said his client has been deprived of a fair trial, added that there has been prosecutorial and jury misconduct and errors of law at trial and that the verdict was contrary to law. Nelson cited many reasons in his request for a new trial, including allegations of prosecutorial and ju jury misconduct. Nelson also said P Judge Peter Cahill, who presided over the trial, had abused his discretion when he denied an early request for a new trial based on publicly on public public safety during the proceedings which Nelson have has said threatened the fairness of the trial trial Nelson also took note that Ch Chahill's refused refusal to sequester the jury before the trial or admonished them for avoiding all media with and with all his refusal to allow a man who was with Floyd at the time to the arrest to testify the move comes two weeks after Charlie was found guilty on second and third degree murder and manslaughter of George Floyd's killing. A 12 member jury swiftly and unanimously found Chavez, who was 45 years old, guilty on all three counts he faced, following three weeks of testimony from 45 witnesses, including bystanders, police officials, and medical experts. The rare verdict against a police officer is considered a milestone in the fraught racial history of the United States and a rebuke of law enforcement's treatment of black Americans. Uh huh, yeah, watch out. Ben Crump, an attorney for the Floyd family, called the verdict a turning point in American history for accountability and law enforcement at the time. Ben Crump is also a fucking race hustler, but that's just me. In the conversation he captured up here, Chauvin, a white veteran police officer, forced a knee on a Floyd a neck, a 46-year-old black man, for more than nine minutes in the 25 in, on May 25, 2020. Chauvin and three other officers were attempted to arrest Floyd, accused of using a fake $20 bill to buy cigarettes at a grocery store. Uh, now, we can all agree on that part. The of uh, uh, forced 20 bucks, forced $20 bills, totally not worth it. Nelson also asked the judge for a hearing of to impeach the verdict on the grounds that the jury committed misconduct, felt race-based pressure, felt intimidated or threatened, or and or failed to adhere to jury's restrictions. Though the filing did not include details of that assertion, to impeach the verdict is to question its validity. And the brief did not mention the recent report that one of the jurors participate in a March twenty in a twenty. August 28th, March, in Washington, D.C., in to honor Martin Luther King Jr. The juror, Brandon Mitchell, also has defended his actions, saying the event was to commemorate the 1963 March of Washington and was not a protest over Floyd's death. Floyd's brother and sister, President Bridget Floyd, and relatives of others have been seen shot by police as dressed in the crowd at the summer last month. The request for a new trial is routine following a guilty verdict and often minor mirrors issues that will be raised on appeal, said Mike Bennett, a Minneapolis defense attorney who has been closely following the case. If this request is denied, then it can add another layer of discretion on for Nelson to appear. Brandon and others have said Chauvin's convictions are 
unlikely to be overturned. Yeah, I count. Yeah, I call bullshit on that one. Brandon said Nielsen will probably follow more detailed written arguments on the issues. The purpose of holding a hearing to repeat the verdict would be to develop a factual record and present evidence that could determine whether the verdict was compromised. If the hearing is granted, it is likely Mitchell could be called into question these answers, Brandon said. So basically what this whole situation is, is that once the, the whole thing, I, like I said, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen because this, it, it was going to be over, not by a long shot, as much as people like to say it is. And also, here's the thing. There are also reports, there were also reports that states that, um, that some of the jurors, they was, they was being uh, intimidated by, by fucking BLM. Because if they didn't get the, because you know they were gonna face some sort of retaliation if they didn't if they didn't give these idiots the verdict that they want, which is a guilty verdict. So basically, there were a lot to go after, and also the judge he should have sequestered, should have uh, barred the jury from reading the media, for watching anything that's happening in the media, because you know that plays a factor in factor in that, and it's funny how this all happened. Because in a murder case like this, it shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened. The jury shouldn't be reading what's happening in the media, in the uh, actual media, and anything. They have to go in there and have to be unbiased. But I guess the judge didn't do that. And as you know, Ben Crump, the, the wannabe motherfucker himself, when he got word of it, um, his reaction is... Well, he went on to Twitter to say, no, 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 guilty, guilty, guilty. I was like, sorry, pimp. That ain't, that's not how it's going to go, player. That's not going to have it go. Everybody, like I said, I censored an appeal, and lo and behold, I was right. <sighs> yep. Like I said, it ain't going to, it's not going to be over. Not going to be a long time, because I know there's going to be an appeal, and like I said, I was right. So, like I said, this is going to be pretty interesting how this is going to play out. But other than that, I think I think uh, Chauvin's, um, Chauvin's team, they got a good case. Because, you, know, you know, it seems like, it seems like he wasn't, because in my honest opinion, he, I felt like he had, he didn't have no due process on no due process of law. I've been hearing a lot of things about how the prosecutor was doing everything in their fucking power to make sure that they get score a W. But uh, like I said, we'll see how this is going to play out. But I would like to know what your two sets on the whole thing is. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your significant other, and uh, that's about it. Until next time, this is DarkSide2K7, aka Sonic Sky. He's just signing off. See y'all later. Peace. I knew, I knew this wasn't gonna. I knew this, this ain't the end of the story. I knew it. I fucking knew it.